Hey, how's everybody doing today? Okay. Yes, no face shots because we're just going to do a quick unboxing. Right now, I'm just going to tell you about what we have here. This just came in from Monster Tank. These are mounting brackets that are going to be going on my Razor chair. It's the Razor Iskur. Here we go. Let's take a look at what we have in here. And I'm using a new wireless mic. I've got another one coming. It's from Movo, and I'm hoping it records good. I'm hoping it's recording at all, because then I'll be speaking like for nothing. Oh, okay. We have a anodizing cleaner, like a hard sponge, foam, something. Anyways. I guess that's to, to wipe it off. They give us a nice little sticker, not a sticker, a little, like, little welcome card. See, welcome. Okay, so we have something here, obviously, some plates. Oh, wow. Very nice. All right, these are the brackets that go under the chair. I'll have to remove the arms. Put these in and then there's a few screws and whatnot and stuff that go into it and the the, the brackets are removable so we'll, we'll, we'll look more at that are these things identical so i guess you can pretty much so it's one cut so yeah you just flip them upside down all right what's this oh oh i wonder if these uh cannabis gummies yeah okay i'm gonna eat them Oh, well, they're already open. I'm not eating them. All right, so what do we have in here? Man, they do a heck of a job packaging. I've got to say. Okay, so this is what we're, what we're dealing with here. Look at, that is very nice. What a nice job on the machinery. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to drag you through 20 minutes of them ripping this stuff apart. What I'm going to do is kill the camera, turn it back on when I have this stuff out on the desk. Okay, wow, it's not as bad as I thought. Okay, so what we have, a couple packages of screws, obviously. These go with this, this goes with that. This will be the mounting plate for the wing wing, win, wing win, wing win, wing wing, win wing, win wing throttle, my Drupal base came in right now i have the f18 stick on it i ordered the f14 with the cool little side knob you know going to guns going to guns okay we have one part of the bracket here a larger part of the bracket here and once again wow these things are man they ain't joking yeah okay so we're looking at um Damn, that's just almost three quarters of an inch, a little under. Wow, okay. Some very, very heavy duty nuts, screws, bolts, and these things that look like washers. The machining is incredible. They fit inside of here, and you can put your bolts through and do all that. There's no directions, and you know, nobody gives directions no more. What you want to do is take these one at a time, and you'll understand why in a minute, and you slide these in. Listen, now, you definitely want the long part, away, the furthest away from the ball where the hole is, you want that to go in first. And they snap right in there nice. Three, probably three, maybe four different hex keys or Allen keys style with these with deeds with those with these see this serves kind of as a guide let, let me show you so we, we don't even need the screw in it for me to give you an example of that but so when you put this in here like so and you mount it on see it serves as a guide so you want these facing the cut part of the shot stem 
you want the screw hole closest to the cut end on the long piece. And then what you gotta do, what I would do, is it looks like you could put them in and flip these around. You know, I, I don't think I would go there. I would put these in first. And because that's what, th th these are gonna screw in to hold the plate on. And you can just pull it up and over. See what I'm getting at? You don't necessarily need to, but now you can push them right in and angle them, but I, I, I wouldn't do it that way. So, screws, you definitely, you don't want to try to get those in, and you're not going to pull these bottom, the, these cover, these covers off, these caps, the, these things are on. It was kind of struck me odd as the way that works, but, hey, what you going to do? So, these go in here, like so. Let's see how they sit. Once you get it on, you can pull them up to get, and this is the this is the crazy part, really, is you need to tighten it all like this and on an angle. That's why I was saying I thought the caps would come off, but they don't. You don't want to take them caps off. So you got your long piece. Let's bring these down. You're never going to be putting this. The reason why you want the short and the screws facing the top is because it gives you more of an adjustment. If you put them towards the bottom, you're losing probably almost a, a half an inch of adjustment. And I don't think anybody's really going to bring it either way too close. You could probably get away with either way, but this seems to make the most sense to me. Okay, so now that we have these in, they look pretty straight to me. And that's how that would go on, but not in that direction. You don't want it to go in that direction. You want it to go here. So these are facing down. Don't mind me dropping stuff, but I gotta flip stuff around. So these are facing down, like so. You want to take, I don't know what the heck size it is. These aren't very expensive ones. Get a few good spins on it this way. Okay, once they're started, they pull right in. See what I'm saying? I probably got to loosen this one up a little bit. Give it a half a turn. There. Okay, I'm not... Getting them. They're not even where I'm going to want them yet. I'm just getting them on there. Okay, nice. That stuff's sturdy. All right. So now we have our top pieces there. That's where those come in. One of your plates, the end obviously, with the black beveled screws. Drop it on a little angle, get it lined up, give it a couple turns. That one's grabbed already. And I don't think you're going to risk much of a chance cross-threading any of this stuff, to be honest with you. I wouldn't put a lot of pressure on it when you're screwing them down yet because, you know, you want to you wanna leave them a little loose so you got some play in them. You know what I mean? Not that much play. Just get them snug. So you pretty much have everything together at that point. But then you have your bottom where your washers, your screws, and your spacer. And this is the crazy thing is, is this spacer goes between the plate on your chair and this plate. So this is going to go kind of like so on whatever arm it is. You're going to put your screws through. Obviously, you're going to use washers in there in between. And then to the plate at the bottom of your chair, which goes through both plates and into your chair. So, we have the basic idea. This was probably the more concerned part that I had of how this works and where things go. And what I'm going to do is I'll come back when I'm ready to mount them on a chair, what I'll do is show you how, I'll put in a video 
the screws that come out of the chair, the spaces that go in between the, the bracket and the bracket on a chair because you got to remove the arms. So we'll take a look at all that when, when, as soon, when we get back in the next part of the video. Okay, so we're back. After looking at the chair, as you can see, it's got the four, four bolt holes. And I pulled this one off. This arm. Now, one, ouch. one quick thing I'm going to put in there is if you're going to, it's not meant, flight chairs don't normally have arms. And I really, I always sit forward. I never, ever put my arms so, on the armrest. So I'm, I'm going to try it without it. Let's see how this works out. If I don't like it, I don't like it. I'll put the other ones on. Okay. Into anything. I don't want to make this all too tight yet. Man, it doesn't take much. It's a little turning. This piece right here, I know on some of them, bolts that are built into a quick release. Like you can grab the lever and you can pull it down. It loosens it. Slide it back on. It didn't come with this. And that's okay. I, I, mean, I mean, Maybe I was on the older ones, but they probably found it. It starts to get expensive real fast. So with that said... So we got that one on, and this is going to be the side that my joystick goes on. See what I mean? How that slides in. It had a handle. You could turn it in the videos that I watched. See, yeah, I wouldn't want the armrest, I don't think. With the Allen key every bloody time, which I don't think would be fun. I've got some up there. I got a couple from when I did some water cooling setups that I, the ones with the handles, they were nice. But I think that'll do it. Wow, yeah, that's really nice and tight. I don't think I'm gonna pull that in any closer, so I'm gonna lock these right here. Not like it's gotta be torqued down like on a CPU. Give it a little eighth of a turn. This one got a little more. I think this one needs a little. That's it. So this side's done. That'll that'll look good. I don't know if you folks can see this any good. As you can see, I got the arm off on that part. Loosen the knees. I got up to move something. I'm I cut it out, but I. I knocked like five of my Marvel characters off of the top of my the stand and I had to chase them down. Yeah, baby. Okay. Beautiful. The ones with the T handles at the golden. Okay. Get this one a little. Doesn't need it really. This one. Nothing. Okay. Adjusted the way I want. Bring them up. Bingo. Okay, so here we are to wrap up this review. I tried it with the arms on and the arms off, and to be honest with you, I liked it a lot more without the arms. They seem to get in the way. My um above my my elbow was constantly rubbing up against if 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 they if they were higher maybe you know maybe if this was up to here 
it would have worked out a little easier but then you'd be like might as well just put it up on a table it wouldn't make sense to have them on a chair you know that was the whole idea of it so it's very comfortable actually flight seats don't have armrests well most of them don't um, so it worked out well it worked out really well I like it just as it is so over here yeah I went with Verpal on this side and I went with Win Wing over here and I also have the MFG foot pedals and um, quick note if you order the MFG foot pedals order it comes with a serial number on it and you might want to mention it to the guy when you order it I don't know if he's gonna get mad at me for saying this but anything under one five zero 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 has the old software and the new software that's that that's been installed onto the chip when you order the newer MFG foot pedals it's just plug and play you you don't need no update in you don't need nothing you just go in there can you know set it up and you're off and running the versions down from 1500 down you have to do the firmware updates and the whole configuration set and just a lot different and I, I just found I've the, the middle one five I don't know it's five digits one five three six something but I am very happy with how this came out how it works everything is just at the perfect level I still have to do a little bit of work on how I'm going to run the wiring and stuff. Right now I've got it set up so I can just detach it from the USB extensions and my chair is free. I'm just kind of like would put it in a different area. What's that little weird green spot I see all over? Okay, anyways, whatever. Oh, it's a reflection. You can see some of the other software, the other hardware I've tried in the the past I've got the desk mounts a different type of desk mount over there that's the track I are on the headset so yeah I'm very happy with it if I want I can put the armrest back on I mean not the end of the world but I think I'm staying with where I am so that's gonna be about it folks they're easy to set up they mount and they are solid there it well, there goes my chair. The chair will move around before the mounts will. Monster Tech doesn't joke around with their brackets, their nuts, bolts, and screws, and whatever else they give you. It's all heavy duty, clean, clean cut, measured right. I mean, no complaints. I, I give it a solid, man. They get a solid, solid all day long, a solid 100, a 10, an A+. Plus. I'm happy. All right, so on that note, I'm going to go edit all this stuff up. I hope somebody got something out of this. Don't forget to like and subscribe.